The son of perdition The lawless one The the image of the beast They are all one One being Who Paul said would come In his future But he has already came In our past And he's here today Sitting in the temple of the Most High Showing himself That he is the Most High For many people believe That Jesus And God Is the very same We have known from our studies That the word God Was put in the Bible By the Jews According to a custom they set up And the word Lord and Jesus is a byproduct of the name Jesus. Yes, Jesus, a Greek word that points to the Greek deity Zeus. And Zeus is no one but the enemy, one of his many names. So now as we look and see how this image of this one that we call Jesus is lawless. He is lawless because he do not keep the law according to his own appearance. Tell on him. The Bible said, Know a tree by the fruit that it bears. Look at his fruit. Long hair. A beard that's cut at the corners. Paul said it's a shame for a man to have long hair like a woman's covering. Yes, brothers and sisters, this is the image of the lawless one. This is the image of the beast. You're looking at it, examine it up through the word, through the law that says if you not do not speak up if you do not speak according to the law. It is because there is no light in you. Look at him. He is not according to the law and his appearance. Where is the fringe that the law calls for him to be wearing on the four corners of his garments? Where is the teetsies that he's supposed to wear to remind him to keep the law? This is the image of the son of perdition. Who will come And probably is already in the world today But we know he is in our temple They gave it They gave us this image On Sunday school cards When we were just little children And went back home to our mothers and fathers And our grandparents And asked who is this And we were told This is the son of the most high this is your Savior who died for you. To confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that this image is your Savior. You are bowing down to a graven image with your mouth and with your heart. Because children believe what their parents tell them with all their heart. That this is Jesus who died for you. This is Jesus who loved you. This is Jesus who gave himself for you and shed his blood for you. You see, it's one thing about it. When you take the word and it apply it to this image, you have created the beast. Listen to me and listen to me carefully. Paul said, if you do not have a love for the truth, that the Almighty will send you a delusion that you would believe a lie. And believe me, if you fall up on the a delusion of the Most High, you're going to believe that you're going to be up under a curse that will take you to, to damnation. Yes, brothers and sisters, this is the image of the beast. This is the son of perdition. This is the wicked one. This is the lawless one. 
He is not in appearance according to the law. He is in the appearance of one who is against the law, a lawbreaker. Study. Look upon these images and study your Bible and see that these images, this image was given by the Roman Catholic Church. It was commissioned. It was a design by the Roman Catholic Church and the artists that they hired to paint this image that the church members would have to bow down to. This is the same image that they had thousands of people killed because they would not bow down to it. This is the image, the Inquisition. This is the image that you not worship this image. That your head would be chopped off. That they would scratch you. That they would break every bone in your body. This is the image that the Catholic Church held up in front of all the people that were slain in the Inquisition. Oh, brothers and sisters. Wake up. Wake up. If your pastor won't tell you the truth and he won't study to find out the truth, you better run out to church like you like a like a lion is in behind you. Study. 